Times reported that Meghan and Prince Harry have now quit social media for good over online abuse. Meghan reported last year, not accurately, that she was the most trolled person on social media in 2019. That does seem like a good thing, but how will Meghan and Harry get constant attention that they crave if they quit social media? It doesn't seem to add up. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, secondly, Kate Middleton had her 39th birthday party uh, on on this day. And on the day that Meghan and Harry announced that they're quitting social media, Kate had her 39th birthday party. This looks like an intentional upstage. They The kids uh, threw a tea party for her at Anmer Hall. Uh, and I think William was helping. That seems like a lot of fun if the kids were running things and had the responsibility to make the tea and that would be fun. Also, Harry and Meghan, they seem to have intentionally stubbed, snubbed Charles and uh, Thomas Markle in their Archwell launch. There is a touching, Harry made a touching tribute to Diana where he said that uh, she made him a better person uh, and uh, Meghan uh, gave a touching tribute and a photograph to her with her mother Doria, who spent many years in prison while her father raised her and she became the person that she is. They both completely ignored their fathers. Was this intentional? Uh, I think Prince. I think uh, Piers Morgan says it best. Sadly, Ginge and Cringe's compassion and humanity doesn't extend to either of their fathers both of whom have been airbrushed out of this nauseating bilge. Megan officially misses her chance to become a Brit after she leaves the UK. She has a three-year requirement to live in the UK pretty much continuously before she can apply for citizenship. I'm wondering how she feels about this. It, you know, does she give a rip? Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. Why is Harry dissing Charles? <clears throat> Charles is providing 95% of their income. They have the Mexit review coming up. What an idiot. Okay, and other people will say that, you know, the the very the 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 left is very feminine and the right, the Republicans are very masculine. And uh this this air, you know, Harry and Meghan are the ultimate wokesters. They are so woke, and they just are completely airbrushing out Charles. What does this say about Harry? Okay, Harry's about to be airbrushed out. Is that fair? Everything Meghan has, she got it from Harry. She got it from men. Okay, and then Meghan is going to take it all and then, you know, dis discredit Harry and say, oh, Harry did this and oh, Harry... But is that true? Harry gave Meghan everything she has. It's uh, really weird. Here's Charles walking uh, Meghan down the aisle. Yeah, that meant nothing. That's the family she never had. Here's her father who raised her. He flew up to wherever that school was. It's obviously in a cold place. Spent tremendous amounts of money. He didn't have this big winter coat. He spent all this money to go to this game with her and flew up there. Okay, we have Kate's birthday with the children. That's nice. Just, you know, a functional family. They act like a functional family. Uh, Kate and William do. And they probably are. So the first question is, will Harry and Meghan quit social media? I, I can't believe it, but let's take a look and see what the cards want to say. You know... Megan only speaks emotionally, okay, and taken as someone, you know, taken as the proclamation of a two-year-old child, I'm never going to eat broccoli ever again, you know, or something like that. Well, then it makes perfect sense. I'm never going to post on social media ever again, which is essentially all they do. Uh, so taken that way as the proclamation of a small, small child who's not responsible for any of their words, well... That could make sense, but I don't believe it in any kind of rational sense. So are they going to quit social media? All right, 
what do we see? Well, Six Spades is a great lying card. Working everything together, very emotional, just like I said, completely an emotional statement. There's no rationality to it at all. Nineteen, five clubs. Very soon and very soon, they're going to find another option. And then, well, we just had to post on social media because, well, this happened or that happened, five clubs. So uh, they're working everything together for their emotional narrative. They're painting an emotional picture. And it's just all a lie. There's no, the foundation of this is lie. They have no intention of staying off social media. They're manipulating you. They're manipulating us emotionally. No is the full stop. So for a while, you know, they're going to stay off social media for a very brief time. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, I predict days. Days, days. Days. They're going to stay off social media for days. Water into wine. Renewal. Uh, they'll start back up soon enough. Butterfly. Very public. Angel. I've got a lot of dust here. Angel and three black birds. Uh, virtue signal. Words. This is virtue signaling. Very publicly virtue signaling official, official proclamation, but it's all just emotion. There's no substance to this proclamation that they're going to quit social media. Uh, the other thing is, was it an upstage? It's kind of an obvious upstage of Kate's birthday. You know, how malignant, how malicious is it? Let's look at Megan and Kate uh, and see what's going on there because, you know, uh, that this is along the lines of putting out anything. I, I'm not talking to you ever again. You know, I'm quitting social media. Uh, and it's so interesting that it happens. It's a knee jerk reaction that happens on Kate's birthday to upstage Kate. So let's look at Megan and Kate. Does the war rage on? Megan, this is Kate. Oh boy. So Megan blocked virtue signaling people around her home and family, seven and five, 12, three spades, conflict. It's just, Megan is a boiling pot. Okay. And if you deal with a narcissist, a narcissist doesn't have relationships. A narcissist is competing with you. Uh, and in this case, Megan would be the narcissist. She's trying to win. She's trying to beat Kate, she's trying, in every, any and every situation, she's trying to beat Kate. She's also going to try to beat Harry. She's also going to try to beat Archie, okay? How weird is that to compete with your own little baby boy? That's pretty weird, uh, and that's extremely emotionally unhealthy. So, she, this never ends, three spades. It never ends. She's a boiling pot of all the people around her, and she has to come out smelling like a rose. So, and this is just... This is like a thorn in Megan's side, a blockage for her. What's going on with Kate? Cornucopia, everything material. Uh, if you blink, you miss the four-leaf clover. This is what's happening right now. Committed to everything. 14, four diamonds, very solid. Four diamonds, eight diamonds. She's just very, very solid. Uh, her birthday is just something that came up on that day, and she's going to do it. So... She doesn't even notice Megan. She's not even noticing Megan at this point because Megan is far away. Megan is not part of the royal family really anymore. Up here we have the truth, broken chalice, scapegoat, and uh, Jacob's ladder. So on an ongoing basis, they're being separated and removed from the royal family. And at this point, 95% of Brits want Megan and Harry stripped of their royal titles and to have nothing to do with the royal family because they don't represent the royal family anymore. This is a problem for Harry because Harry is a royal and that's all he is. And he's going to have to come back to the royals. So it's a really bad idea to be dissing Charles who gives him all his money. Man at a crossroads. Hmm. So this is Meghan and Kate, man at the crossroads. Man at the crossroads. Decision about men. 
Well, we're not talking about them dissing anybody. This is Megan and and Kate. So it's showing Harry at the crossroads. 13 and 5, 18, 5 diamonds. He's at a crossroads. And here's the 5 diamonds. So Harry is reaching a crossroads where he's either going to have to come back to the Royals or he's going to have to go his way, which is a really bad idea for him. Yeah. So it, it, interestingly, this is showing that uh, Kate is like not noticing her. It's like she's just gone. She's not even a, an annoying fly at this point to Kate. Whereas for Megan, this is her world. She has to win, uh, and it's, this is something that's constantly bothering her underneath. She has to win. And for narcissists, it's about winning and losing. And if you ever interact with a narcissist, they always think they're the smartest person ever. They're the most special person in the whole world. And they can be really dumb. They can be a drug addict. Uh, you know, the, they, they can be anything. They could be a prostitute, but they think they're smarter than you. They think they're winning. And they're like, yeah, I just do drugs and prostitution because, yeah, it's just, it's just something that has to be done. And, you know, I'm a victim and, you know, whatever. So they always think they're the best person in the world. So Megan is losing her chance at British, British citizenship. Uh, who could have seen that one coming? So what are her feelings on this? Let's just take a look at this. She's losing her chance at British citizenship. Does she even care? She's so far past that. I had a friend, I had a girlfriend who emigrated to Canada. Basically the same thing. You got to be in country for three years. It's a three year process, but really it's a five year process. And after five years, she got her citizenship and she moved right back to the U.S. Because Canadians can live in the U.S. with essentially no restrictions. Uh, what do we have here? Megan loses her chance at British citizenship. Far away, she's planted herself far away, and that's the key. 2231 in, in the world. Eight clubs, city. So just on the surface, very objectively, she's just far away. She's not in Britain. Cutting this close, the woman is cutting this close relationship, 12, 14, 15, and that's just what's happening right now. She has no emotions on it. There's no emotional anything here. It's a big deal. Okay, it's a big deal, but she's kind of emotionally cut off. You know, that, that tribal relationship of becoming a Brit that's not happening. That's been cut. So, and there is a lot of, you know, people are, you know, people, it matters who you are. It matters uh, who you're associated with. It really matters. Okay, so we have Harry snubbing Charles. Is he intentionally doing this? Is he angry at Charles? Is Harry angry at Charles? I mean, why is he snubbing Charles? Or is this just the ultimate wokeness stuff? Is Harry angry at Charles? All right, what do we have? Uh, on the surface, we have heart, mustard seed, karmic shift. He intends well with this message, but uh, the messaging is changing to... Two is Ace of Diamonds, three aces. This is just his new messaging, you know, the new woke messaging. Uh, underneath is telling the real story. Coffin, dead bodies in the box, six hearts, current relationship and snake. He's having problems with his family. He's upset with his whole family. And we've seen this in other card spreads that he's, you know, Harry is even showing up with the devil on his side. He's very upset at the royal family. He feels very mistreated, which leads me to believe that Harry and Meghan were kicked out. Okay, they didn't leave voluntarily. They were kicked out. Harry wanted to go and do whatever the heck he wanted to do, any way he wanted to do it, and get all the money and, and have the titles, but not have any responsibility. And that's what, and Meghan wanted to be queen of the, she wanted to be a queen in her own right and set up everything separately. That didn't work out. He feels very upset 
at his family that they just wouldn't let him just do any damn thing he wanted. Uh, Mercury and strength. Communicating to the family uh, secretly. Everything is everything. So he is very upset at his family. Uh, but on the surface, it's just, this is just the new woke speak. You know, we ignore men. Uh, yeah, they built everything and they built modern uh, civilization, but we just ignore them uh, because that's just so cool and groovy. So groovy, so cool. All right, let's review. Will Meghan and Harry quit social media? No, it's all a lie. It's just pure emotion. It's all a lie. At the first opportunity, they're going to renew and what, something's going to come. It's just pure virtue signal. And they're just making a declaration. And it's just, it's just publicity. It's a publicity stunt. Butterfly. So it's just a lie. And it's just pure emotional speaking. And very interestingly, it's just, it just happens to be on Kate's 39th birthday. The, the moment that she's having her 39th birthday to upstage her. Was this an intentional upstage? Absolutely. Interestingly... Kate is not noticing her at all. Meghan and Harry are just getting further and further away, and this is leading Harry to a crossroads. Does Meghan care about her loss of the opportunity to become a Brit? No. It is a big deal, but she's just ignoring it. Uh, that close relationship is cut for the woman. She doesn't seem to care. It is a really big deal. It was a big opportunity, but... She doesn't seem to care at all. Is Harry angry at Charles? He is angry at his whole family and feels that he's been mistreated. This is pretty typical, actually. Uh, you know, he's off. He's the, <clears throat> the what's that called? The pro profligate, the, the prodigal son. He's the prodigal son at this point. And, d you know, when the prodigal son is out there drininging and, you know, carousing and, and spending all the money and, and whatnot... Is the prodigal son saying, oh, I was treated so bad? Yeah, until they come back and, and get a hold of themselves. And that's where Harry is right now. He's like the prodigal son. So that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to... To the generous folks who bought me a cup of tea, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. And